everyone and welcome to another review from Colour with Claire. Today we're looking at the set of art from Mariola Budek. Now Mariola is a illustrator most famous for her portraits and she is one of my favourites if not my favourite illustrator ever. I absolutely adore her style. She is just so so talented and I've just recently sort of in the last year or so started getting um, well, no, I wouldn't say pretty good. Okay, I've started getting a bit more adept at colouring skin and faces, let's say, and it's now one of my favourite things to colour and Mariola's work is just the best of the best, in my opinion. So I have been wishing for a book from Mariola for the longest time now and this is the closest that we're going to get. This is a set of her digital colouring pages that she has put together herself and bound. Um, so it's not a book, but it kind of is. I'll show you what I mean. So anyway, when you first get it, it looks like this. So it'll come in an envelope and everything. You open it up and this is what you've got. Now, I haven't actually opened this properly yet. I haven't took the cellophane off. So I'm going to be doing that for the first time with you. So we open up the card cover. Just take that away. And we have the book. So first of all, you'll notice that there's a little extra page in here and we also have a second extra which is printed on I don't know if you call this toned tan paper or whether it's just a recycled paper but it doesn't say on the on the the listing for this product so I'm just gonna see what it feels like yeah it's really thick it does have a very rough texture to it it does feel like a recycled paper and this one is I'm assuming the same card that will be within the book images so you can see just straight away how incredible her work is i just i just don't understand how how talented some people can be it's it's crazy so let's open up the set so we have this cellophane wrapper and we've got a little card in here oh it's a note thank you for your support i hope you like it mariola oh that's wonderful so i've got a hand written note here from Mariola. Don't know if you get one of those with every set, it's probably just because um, I'm doing this video, but um, this obviously you know I only tell you the truth about things and if you've been watching my channel for a while, you'll know how much I love Mariola. Um, I'll stick a few photos up actually of some of the work that I've done uh, from her illustrations because obviously I've, I've only just opened this so I haven't actually um, coloured any of the images from it yet in this particular book but I have coloured plenty of Mariola images in the past so those are up on the screen for you to have a look at now. So here we go this is a set of art let's put these two extras to the side just for a moment but you can see just they're just gorgeous and this is the actual book so it's got this kind of clip binder on it and it does have a spine as well that's printed so you can put it on your shelf and you'll know exactly where it is. On the back we have the all the coloured pages, all the illustrations named so you know exactly what you're getting. It's a bit like a contents page. So in this set we've got Summer, Pure, Cute Beast, Lady Spring, Delicate, Skull, Coronet, Before the Storm, Chaplet, Rowana, Goldie, Independent Poland, Katharina, Femme Orientale, Helena, uh, Owl Look Silence, Guardiana, Mother of the Little Dragon, Le Coeur en Conge, I'm not sure what that means, Monique, Queen of Flowers, Elves, Fairy's Friend and Ethereal Knight. So 24 pages altogether. It is really thick and it does feel sturdy. Despite this kind of plastic binding that doesn't really look like much, it really feels very, very strong and sturdy. So I'm guessing what you would do is you can either use it like a book, so open it up like this and sort of bend the pages a little bit so you can get a, a spine going on or oh, it tells you here it tells you how to do it before you start coloring you can remove the binder from the booklet that's what i was going to say to separate the pages and choose your favorite ones to color single pages give you more comfort while coloring when you're done you can frame your colored art or put all of them back together again in the binder so it's just giving you a little bit of a, a show through of what to do there and um, we've got a little bit of art here from Mariola and a quote, through my art, I can talk to you when words aren't enough. It's really sweet. So yeah, I guess what you're meant to do, and this is signed as well, by the way, 
is remove the binder. So that's what we'll do because I don't want to mess up any of the pages. It probably will be difficult to get back on. I don't know. We'll give it a go. So I've removed the binder and now we're going to see exactly which illustrations Mariola has included. So this one here, just excuse my creaky chair. <laughs> this one here, I'm guessing they go in order of the contents page on the back. So let's grab that first of all and have a look. So I don't know for sure, but I'm going to I'm going to guess that they do. So this should be summer and you know just I, I don't know of any other illustrator that can create just more realistic and beautiful colouring pages than this. You know, they're really hyper realistic. They have um, a, di a different amount of shading depending on whichever one you decide to colour. But I do like that they are kind of semi grayscale because it, it's not too dark and it's not going to take over anything that you put down on the paper. But it still has that level of shading that gives you an idea of where to put your highlights and shadows, which is always helpful, especially with faces, because that can be one of the hardest things to learn. So here, let's just move this contents page out of the way. In fact, I'll just put these to the side for now. This could be pure. I'm not sure. I should have checked, really, but obviously I've only just opened it. So this is a gorgeous kind of side on. She's looking at you, turning her head over her shoulder. She's got the beautiful wavy ringlet hair and some roses. So this one should by rights be cute beasts and I'm guessing it is. So hopefully these are in order. So again, Mariola is kind of famous for her beautiful hair. She know, really knows how to create the most gorgeous tumbling curls. And here we've obviously got a, well, I say obviously, it looks a bit like a fox. It's got a fox's face, but it is very, very fluffy. So it could be a wolf. Um, I'm not sure. Maybe you guys will know and tell me. But we've got this sort of uh, decorative headband that she's got in here. Looks almost like metal, like a fleur-de-lis. And she has a plait across her head. Um, yeah, it's just beautiful. So this could be Lady Spring. We've got a butterfly, we've got the flowers, the big kind of headdress. You'll often see that in Mariola's work, the kind of floral crown. And this one is delicate. So what I love about this is just how smooth the hair is. You know, it's so glossy. And how do you create that with black and white? It is incredible. Oh, so this one, yeah, is skull. So as you can see, we've got a half a realistic face and then we've got half a skull. So that'd be awesome to do a really realistic skin tone on here with beautiful human eyes and then have this, you know, grey or French grey bone structure going on, you know, in, in comparison to it. It would look awesome. That's probably one that I'm going to start very soon. And then there's a lot of kind of patterning around it again with that kind of fleur-de-lis. Uh, I'm not really sure what you call it is it like a jacquard pattern so this one is coronet um and again we've got the headdress very metallic with pearls and gems you could probably make each of these into a beautiful gemstone and then we've got flowers coming down and the two braids either side this is called before the storm and it is i think it's the one that's yeah it's the one that was sent um, on the recycled card so you can do two different ones there um, and it's just an abundance of hair isn't it really it's a little bit daunting for me this because I, I just know exactly how much time it would take but if you're looking for something that is very detailed and will turn out absolutely incredibly then this is definitely one you should go for it's called before the storm and I'm guessing because she looks very calm calm before the storm that's what it means but also it looks like her hair is almost frizzing up in anticipation of an electrical storm that's what I think anyway so this is chaplet and this lady actually has some beautiful kind of see-through translucent fabric going on with her clothes here so that would be a really interesting one to try and color to try and get that um, transparent look to it it's a side on portrait so you can practice your cheekbones and different highlights and shadows and of course all of that beautiful curly hair this is Rowana and I'm guessing that these are Rowan berries if they're not they're not but I'm guessing that's why she was called Rowana and we've got a little bird on this one as well to, to accompany her and this hairstyle is a beautiful updo with lots of loose strands and a gorgeous 
kind of messy braid going all the way through it. Colour and Chat with Sammy, who is another channel that you'll probably know of, uh, she did a whole hair series for Mariola Budex um, artwork showing you how to colour different hair colours um, and different styles of hair. So definitely go over to her channel if you want to kind of practice and have a go. So this is Goldie and I'm guessing this is a golden retriever puppy and again just beautiful beautiful hair, flowers all over, it's very kind of nature and animal inspired um, and just beautiful that's that's the, the main word you can use for Mariola's work is is just complete beauty this is called independent Poland now I'm guessing that this animal which looks like an eagle um, is maybe the animal of Poland or, or some sort of sim symbolic um, animal I really don't know I should have looked it up but um, yeah so if you are Polish or you know of these kind of symbolisms then you'll tell me in the comments I'm sure but it, again, either way, it's a beautiful illustration. This is called Katharina. So we've got a cat this time. We've had a dog and a cat and a bird and a wolf or fox. So now we've got Katharina or Katrina, however you want to say it. And um, this kind of looks like a little bit of a younger lady, uh, maybe um, sort of teenager type age. Again, beautiful flowing hair. And you've got the chance to practice fur on a cat. This is Femme Oriental, so I'm guessing there's an Oriental vibe to this. Uh, we've got a lot of jewels and decorative pieces hanging down from this very elaborate headdress. So again, another one you can have a lot of fun with. This is called Helena, and I know that this has something to do with, with Poland and with that kind of area because the uh, Slavic Beauties colouring book by uh, Christina Novak had a Helena um, illustration in it which looked very very similar to this so again let me know in the comments it's probably something very very um, obvious that I don't know of but I think it is symbolic of that area of the world this is Owl Look Silence so she is again joined by a feathery friend we've got an owl this time and she's also wearing an owl headdress it looks kind of um a little native american this one with the headdress going on and the and the, uh, the animal sort of um, influence but you can see on the on the owl it's also adorned in pearls and gemstones and jewelry very very opulent this is uh guardiana or guardiana and looks very much like um, the Khaleesi from Game of Thrones. So uh, what's her name? Daenerys, Daenerys Targaryen. So if you want to colour that in exactly those same colour palettes with the kind of ice blonde hair, and then you've got the dragon skull and the dragon wings as the armour, you know, it really is. I, I'm, I'm sure that Mariola will have done this as a tribute to Game of Thrones. Um, it is just stunning. Again, it's one that I really want to tackle and get my teeth into as soon as possible. This is Mother of the Little Dragon. So again, um, you've got that dragon theme, but this is definitely not, um, you know, a Daenerys portrait. You can just tell the difference straight away, but you could do it in the same kind of style. Uh, again, just beautiful. You've got the opportunity here to colour dragon skin, dragon scales, uh, kind of waxy wings and trying to make that work. Uh, yeah, just gorgeous. This is called Le Coeur en Conge. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Um, and I've got no idea what it means, but it looks very angel-like, very uh, religious symbolism. You've got the uh, stained glass background there as well. That would be a really good one to practice colouring stained glass and those different panes of colours. And yeah, it, it does remind me of kind of religious iconography, but really it depends what you want to do with it. It's just stunning. It could be an angel, it could be a fairy, totally up to you. This is called Monique and this is a butterfly hybrid I think. It could be a fairy but it does definitely look like butterfly wings and the wings are actually growing from the skin of her arms there so she is definitely a hybrid and she's wearing a corset, she's got a long flowing dress, very very simple for you to add details if you wanted to. Um, yeah. Next is Queen of Flowers. So again we've got a fairy, they're a really kind of decorative very intricate wing patterns here and um, all of these, I don't know if these are vines from the leaves or, or what, but she is completely kind of drenched in these flowers and um, she has the crown, so she is the queen of flowers. This is called Elves 
and we have kind of very uh, it's very popular to get portraits to colour of women but you don't often see their male counterparts and it's really nice to have this kind of male um, figure in an illustration and just in general the, the picture is absolutely beautiful it really is it's very romantic um, as you can see it's almost like a warrior prince with his uh, princess you could you know you could even make them into um, two females you know if you wanted to do that it's totally up to you because you know you've got this long hair and it could it could be a very what's the word they call used to call David Bowie um, androgynous so it could be it could be either it doesn't have to be a man but it's absolutely beautiful either way and I really love this this armor that he's wearing or she's wearing or what have you they're wearing let's use the right pronouns uh, this is Fairy's friend. Again, we've got Fairy and beautiful wings. I love the wings that are kind of scalloped at the edges and they're not just, you know, beautifully round. They have some character to them. Again, we've got that fabric that looks very sheer, practicing on. She's sat on a, a tree stump and there are mushrooms and there's a cute little mouse offering her a berry. So it is very sort of fantastical, this one, set in a magical forest, you could say. And finally, we have ethereal night so this is a lot darker it seems to be slightly more gothic than the other illustrations again you've got such an abundance of hair to color here but you've also got these really rough kind of looking um looks almost like they've been ripped in battle so i would really love to see what you guys do with this one but that is the last um illustration of the pack and this is the back cover that I took off to show you this. So it's actually giving you the opportunity to test out different materials and different techniques before you go into your gorgeous pages themselves. Before you, do, Maybe you're worried about ruining them or doing something wrong. I know that I am when I start a page. So it is really nice to have this little area that you can test um, for hair, different plaits, braids, um, obviously different skin and eyes and you've got cat fur dog fur we've got a bit of metal down here am i showing you at all yes got a bit of metal down here and you know hands different kind of different areas of the body to color and you've also got this color testing square patch down here as well so mariola's really thought of everything it is you know it's stunning and then we've got a little bit about um where you can find mariola facebook insta etsy and pinterest and on her fan group on facebook so you know what more can you say we wanted a book from mariola and we've got for all intents and purposes a book but it's just one that we can take apart and frame and it is as mariola says a lot easier to color a page when it's loose because you don't have to worry about binding restricting you. Now this card is so thick, it's actually taking me a few moments to get it back to uh, back to level. So yes, it is a very, very thick card. It's 250 GSM and it's A4 in size. I believe you call it letter size in America, but I could be wrong. Um, and every single one of the illustrations that you've seen in this book can be purchased individually as a digital download on Mariola's Etsy um, shop. Her pages average out at around £3.89 each and this whole set, including shipping, is £37. Now that's $46, just over $46 in USD. But if you add up uh, £3.89, times it by the 24 images that you've got here and you've got your extras as well, it actually comes to about £93. So let me just make that clear because it was a bit rambly. Um, £37 for this set, including shipping. But if you bought them individually as digital downloads from her shop, you'd be paying £93. And you wouldn't get the extras, you wouldn't get the binder, you wouldn't get anything else. You'd have to print them off yourself. So very, very reasonably priced to say that your shipping is included. It's printed on very, very thick, very high quality card. You've got the front and the back covers with all the little embellishments that she's put on there. And you've got something that you can just put together and put on your bookshelf as an actual book, <clears throat> but then take it apart if needs be. Very, very reasonable. So £37 in um, GBP, $46 in American dollars. All of the links to buy, well, the only link to buy from her Etsy store. Just let me try and get this back on. Oh, that's so easy. I thought it was going to be really, really difficult. Hang on. 
Oh, that's fantastic. Look how easily that's gone back on. I was really kind of concerned that I wasn't going to get it back to how it was before. That's fantastic. So the link to buy it will be in the description. Um, as I said, free shipping, 24 illustrations. You've got some extras included as well. It's signed by Mariola and what more could you want? Let me know in the comments if you're going to be getting this because this is definitely one of my favourite products colouring books whatever you want to call it of 2019 so far because I am such a massive fan so let me know what you think send me your comments please give a thumbs up on the video and let me know what uh I've already said let me know what you think thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon on Colour with Claire